Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dan Plays. Today, super exciting episode. This is Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Now, I got, I got this over the last sort of hour or so, so I'm really excited to get into this. I just tested to make sure that everything worked, so we're going to overwrite that, and we're going to get straight into this, because I'm oh, really looking forward to this. Big fan of the Lego games. Um, I've had the uh, Star Wars, uh, the complete saga, um, the Indiana Jones ones, which were brilliant. Didn't get the Crystal Skull one because that's, well, the film's terrible, so I'm not going to go and uh, get something that's a terrible film as well. Um, I've uh, played the Harry Potter ones and the Lord of the Rings ones. Never bought them, but they always seem to still pretty good. Um, I got the Sorry, sir, uh, Lego dude. Batman uh, DC Universe 2, whatever the fuck that was called. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this I'm massive really fan of the uh, the Marvel Universe. Um, obviously, there's the fire. biggest roster in a, a LEGO game on this. There's like 150 different characters. Um, now, the I believe that the initial uh, the level is the actual demo one. So this is the one that I would have played on the 360 like the seven or eight times I actually played it. Um, but this is on the PC, and as you can see, the graphics are brilliant on the PC. Um, so the, the reflections, the lighting, the sound, it's all just amazing. Um, so, what's going on? I think it's just the, uh, the sort of the original setting. So we've still got Nick Fury as uh, the kind of Samuel L. Jackson kind of Nick Fury from the Avengers film. Um, I should probably prevent it from being <laughs> Yeah, there's still a lot of uh, that sort of really cool Lego humour. Everything's going to be a parody, hopefully of the Avengers, as well as the, the rest of the, uh, the, the kind of the Marvel Universe. Um, Doctor Doom was actually, although he's like one of the main sort of villains in the Marvel Universe, <laughs> back carrying a rat, fair enough. Um, he's he's kind of like he was downplayed and sort of oh, just sort of children fied, like in the the Fantastic Four films, and he just wasn't that much of a scary kind of terrifying villain. So although this is going to be a parody of it, I'm just hoping that this will be you know um, it will really <laughs> the Doom Ray of Doom, man, oh, fantastic. Right, so we've got a little roster of bad guys there. So we've got Magneto, Juggernaut, uh, Green Goblin, I saw Dark Ark, um, uh, Sandman. Didn't see the rest of I think Stan Lee was on that list as well. Yeah, there's Stan Lee, Red Skull, Dark Ark, and here's uh, Abomination and Sandman. So this will be the first level we go into yet. So this is where the, the Xbox 360, the PS3 demos opened up with uh, Sandman and Abomination after the uh, <laughs> Cosmic Bricks. Um, I, I, I think they're going to be similar to sort of the uh, the black bricks that were in the um, the DC uh, superheroes games, where only the sort of Lex Luthor's disintegrator gun could use. But these have kind of more of a you know they're sort of like the Tesseract kind of cosmic power kind of thing. Um, oh, no, it just looks a hell of a lot better than it does on the 360. Um, Iron Man Iron Man's mask is like it's, it's got like actually. Although everything just looks like the actual Lego minifigures, it, it's reflecting like it should on his actual mask. So like there you can see the actual skyscrapers like reflected in his, uh, in his helmet, it looks amazing. So I don't think there's going to be any actual sort of voice acting apart from maybe Coulson um, from any of the original sort of Avengers characters, but that's fine. This is mainly about sort of parody and comedy really more than anything, so... I want to uh, really, I want to get stuck into this. Definitely is Hulk. Like Hulk, the Hulk sort of minifigures. Obviously, they're not minifigures. That you know, they're kind of huge characters. But it's the first time that that's been really sort of put into a, a Lego game. Welcome back to New York. Right. So if this is Welcome Back to New York, then this would that would assume that we're after the actual Avengers movie. So the Coulson's dead in that case. So not sure how that's going to be explained away if it's all but oh fuck it never mind let's just get fucking stuck in and smash some stuff up as Hulk. Remember, you can transform back to normal if you calm down. Yep so we can transform back into Bruce Banner so if we just hold down Y. <laughs> Alright okay so he's let's see if, he, if he's actually any good in the fight is uh, Dr. Banner. Hey, he's, he's holding his own he's not super strong or anything. I was thinking that maybe, you know, if he gets attacked a little bit, that would piss him off and he could uh, turn into Hulk. No, he just he just died. Okay, so let's give Iron Man a go and just fly about a bit. Now, the flying mechanic has been improved on the, uh, the DC one where you could fly around as Superman. With that, you sort of um, hold down. If you stopped, you sort of just sunk to the floor. Whereas now, you press actually B to 
well, B and A to sort of lower and higher your descent. Double tap B to uh, cut your uh, your flight off. So it, it makes a lot more sense than it does on the uh, the Superman kind of and the you know Wonder Woman and Green Lantern and all that kind of flying mechanic. Um, but uh, we've got some of uh, Iron Man's gadgets on this. So oh shit! Can't be you, buddy. So uh, we've got the repulsors and we've got his kind of like rocket things. So we'll smash this. Uh, we'll get this. I believe we've got to turn into the Hulk for this. Smash it up. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this. This is brilliant. Oh, right. You booted that dude. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, so you can do a full Hulk smash. Um, is that glowing green up there? I wonder if I can... Oh, some blue... Something else around for you to throw? Try ripping up the ground. Right, let's get back in there. Oh. That's, oh, that'll never get old. Oh, he's doing the Loki. <laughs> that's oh, that I'm probably going to get tired of that, but that's awesome. Oh, we've even got like Hulk's actual footprints in the uh, in the sand. Oh, there's a lot of detail in this. I'm loving this already, and I've I've already played this, and it's still impressing me. Oh, can't go wrong with Lego, with Lego games. There we go. <laughs> fucking boot them out of the way. There we go. Right, excellent. Right, so now it's uh, abomination. Oh no, I don't think it's even Agent Colson's voice. I would have thought Colson. Colson's awesome. Right, so let's get Hulk in there. Take out abomination. Actually, let's just change to Iron Man. See if I can uh, unibeam this thing out of the way. Oh, we can blow it up. That'll do at least. Build that shit onto there. Yeah, I, I, although there's, there's a, 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 an absolutely enormous um, variation on the, the sort of Lego games and you know what you can do with them, they've always stayed so true to their sort of like original ethos, really, of just being just just fun and just being fun to play. And, you know, the building and all that sort of stuff. You know, you destroy things to make other things. That's all still there, so it's nice to see that that is still something that they they will kind of keep in there. They'll just change it slightly or improve upon it, but th there's never really been any sort of steps backwards in Lego games. Everything's just sort of got better and better. So let's get right. Okay. Nice. Oh, that was now I'm not sure if I'm actually. Alright, oh, it's a bit QTE, but eh, it's fine. Oh shit, I'm getting bad at it. Bit of a mash in, come on. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I assume that they're going to be making the, uh, the kind of the Hulk Lego figures, if they haven't already. Because uh, they've done it really, really well. Even though it's just like completely removed from the, the sort of standard. Lego minifigure. They just look right. It looks as it should, which is brilliant. Oh, so clever these Lego people. Right, here's our man. I think I'll give you a hand or two. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there's there's a pretty nice particle effect on the sand. What's it, what we've got here? Is the save point? Yeah, let's so continue. Now, I would like to have played this uh, online. Um, I did actually have someone standing by so we could uh, tear it up online. But unfortunately, it's local co op, which is a bit of a piss because I really would have liked to have played that with someone else. I think it would be much more interesting. And, you know, especially this day and age, you know, you'd, you'd think that. Um, most games would be, you know, sort of tailored to, uh, oh great, there's puns and everything, brilliant. But you, you would have thought that things would, like, you know, they'd have been tailored, people would just assume that you would be able to play it online with your mates. But it is only local, so if I get some people around, then maybe, you know, we'll go for a bit more of a multiplayer kind of thing, but I, I'd assume, and I was kind of hoping that it would be online, so I'm a bit pissed off about that. 
by the same token, um, me and Cal were actually trying to um, get on uh, DC Online because we were convi I don't know why we were, but uh, obviously that's changed now. But we were fully convinced that um, if you play DC Online on the PC, you could play it with people on the PS3. Now that is um, a function on the PS4, so you can play with people on the Vita, and you can play with people on the PC on the uh, PC uh, on the PS4. Sorry, but it isn't something that you can do on uh, the PS3. So we waited for updates and all kinds of crazy stuff to download last night for about an hour and a half, and then uh, we got on and we couldn't even add each other because you can't even uh, play with people on the PS3. So I was pretty gutted about that because I do love DC Online, like and to uh, get a couple of the videos with the both of us on would have been pretty cool, but looks like we're just going to have to play it. Um, well, I might just do a couple more videos on my own, and then as soon as Cal gets his PS4 sorted out in the new year, then maybe we'll get a few videos up for that. So, uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to probably do a couple of videos on this. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, this is. Oh, I think we need spidey senses for that bit there. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is just doing a couple of videos for this, and mainly for the fact that I just really want to sort of tear this up myself and uh, really get into the story about it and just play it through. I like, because like, although I'm not a huge fan of sort of collectibles and, you know, sort of like little hidden things, there are certain examples where I do, I, I love it, absolutely love it, and Lego games is definitely one of them. There's loads of Easter eggs. I, re I remember when I was playing the Indiana Jones ones, like all the, um, oh there we go, maxed out the coins already. Um, the uh, with the Lego Indiana Jones ones, you could find some of the Star Wars, the, the Lego Star Wars characters, um, just sort of like as little Easter. Oh, there we go. I'm supposed to build this. What an idiot! Um, just like as little Easter eggs, just like hidden around, and it's like all the minifigures and uh, sorry, the the mini kits, the building kit things, and like all the coins and stuff. Um, and then obviously there's the, the free play mode, so you can have the entire roster of the characters that you've either unlocked or bought using the in-game uh, coin currency. And you can go back and just play it all again. So, like playing the DC online, uh, the, like the DC superhero one, sorry, with like the all the characters of the Justice League, it was really cool. And it was, you know, it was nice to see that, you know, you could sort of there were different things on each map and each level. Super Zero. Super Zero is nice. Good luck getting past this. Oh, here we go. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Um, a but yeah, it was it was it was kind of cool to sort of see like all the different characters and there the, were like different things that each character could do within a certain mission. So you'd have some that you'd need super strength, some that you'd need magnets, and then there was like the Green Lantern powers, or, which was pretty bullshit to be honest, considering it was the, the Green Lantern. It was just like assemble things using the green powering, and the constructs that you made were pretty fucking abysmal, really. So. Yet again, another beautiful example of the Green Lantern being put to no use at all. But I, I'm hoping that, you know, every character in uh, in this, because th there are so many of them, I'm hoping that they will have, you know, a, a really kind of cool use, and they won't just be... Uh, which I, I did find for a lot of them, they were just basically the same characters with different skins, which was a bit of a disappointment, really. But, there's you know, there's a lot of characters we can't really do too much with, so I, th I think they made the, the best with what they had, but considering like the, the most of the characters in the Marvel universe have all got some kind of crazy power, and uh, the ones that they would have used will have all had something similar. I'm hoping that you know they'll all have their own kind of combat and combos and all that sort of stuff. Ah, Spider-Man, here we go. I do I do love a bit of Spider-Man actually. I mean I know that he's very sort of kiddie friendly, but. I think there's a lot of potential in Spider-Man. Like the, the Amazing Spider-Man was fine as a film; it was all right. Um, didn't make a huge amount of sense, but Reese's fans was really good. And oh god, I can't remember his name, but the dude that actually played Spider-Man did a really good job with Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, we are sort of like back into the Avengers setting. So there's the, the Star Tower with the same uh, building construction there, the same um, letters and you know, the same typeface and all that sort of stuff. So. They're playing kind of on the. Um, look, there's the A from the, the. Obviously, that was the Avengers thing at the start of. The, uh, sorry, at the very, very end of the film. So I'm just hoping that they're sort of doing this just to sort of get. Well, yeah, you know, the Avengers was pretty big, and then they get that out of the way, and it just goes back to sort of good old fashioned classic Lego. Everything breaks, everything smashes up. Because at the moment, there's like a lot of these sort of like these fans and everything that. A lot of things that aren't destructible. And. Like some of the original games, like the Star Wars ones and everything, like basically everything was made out of Lego. And yet this seems to be sort of like, 
a cityscape, a standard cityscape, but there's a lot of things in it that are made out of Lego. Like this, like all of these sort of buildings here, obviously. Like, apart from that sort of like, whatever the hell this is. Um, but like the the floor and everything like that, it's not, you know, the original sort of like Lego bricks. It's, um, let's get Spider-Man. Spider sense is tingling. Oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> I love Spider-Man. Um, but it's, it's just sort of like, it's like actual cityscapes, but that it's got, um, like that. Oh shit, right, yeah, there we go. Um, but it, it just has like Lego environments built into them, which is, it's fine. I mean, it looks really good, the graphics are really good and everything. But it's it's just sort of, maybe it's just like the, the evolution of Lego, I suppose, really. It's, you know, you, you're building more beautiful environments and just making, you know, the, the sort of like Lego environments into them as well. But, you know, the construction side of it's all still here, and you, you still build sort of like crazy machines that do other things. So let's get the Hulk back over here and uh, do whatever the hell I'm supposed to do with this. Come on. Alright, we've got Spider-Man kind of stuck on there. There we go. Right, let's just blow all this up, get some more coins. I've maxed out on the coins already, so that's... It must be only be only a small level if I've already got, like, the, uh, the, the coin bar thing full. So we'll just get as many as we can, because I do like buying sort of, like, the extras and, like, you know, the... Actually, I'm not even sure what sort of extras we've got. Studs time 2, red bricks, disguises, then all these ones are locked. Festive hats. <laughs> so um, we've got to uh, find some of the, um, the special bricks and all that sort of stuff. Buy those to uh, get some of the cheats. But um, I think we need to blow something up to get onto the big A, if I remember right, from the demo. There's something to do with that. Oh, we need to turn the electricity off on the other side. That was it. So we use Iron Man's explosives to blow up this uh, silver shiny stuff there. There we go. And then we need Spider-Man senses. Spider sense again. What is it? Uh, okay, so we should be doing something with that. All right. Okay, so we just need to do the same thing. Mash B. Mash, 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 mash. There we go. Right. So. Spider sense again. What is it? What? What's going on? Uh, okay. Well, there's no... Spider sp sense again. What is it? What's going on? Spider sense is going crazy. Oh, hold on. Spider sense again. What is it? Right, so I'm just in totally the wrong place. There we go. Spider sense. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I knew there's something to do with the A. Right, let's get Iron Man up there. Right, now we've got the Sandman boss battle. Like I've got my hands full with you. So, basically the same thing that we've been doing with all these sand constructs at the moment, just using water. So we need to create a water tower. But this is sort of where it implements, like, um, the Hulk's, uh, like, Bruce down. Banner form as well. So, I do like that, because it's just like, we well, can't just sort of mooch about as the Hulk. You do need to change back to Banner every now and then. So now we change back to Banner. Remember, you can transform back to normal if you calm down. There we go. And now we can climb up Spider-Man's very convenient web right here. Get to the top. Oh, frig. Wrong button. Um, what is it to... Uh, was it hold down Y? There we go. Fucking hell, I've already forgotten the controls. There we go. Hulk it out. Grab a hold of this shit. Mash, 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 mash. Release. That does something. There we go. And now we'll get Spider-Man to uh, build this stuff up here. There we go. So we need like this water tower. So we spray him with water. Whoops. Uh, why? That's what I was after. Oh no! I'm melting! <laughs> melting! But he's solidifying. No, wait. <laughs> yeah, that was it. He, oh, oh, fuck yeah! I forgot he actually said that. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Oh, balls! Right, so we need a. Uh, yeah, that was it. So he needs to get Hulk in there. Fuck the next one up. I don't need this. I already have enough problems without getting sand in this costume. <laughs> Oh, I love that kind of like Saturday morning cartoon, like everything they say is just a pun on like their special power or the situation. I love it. It's so cheesy. Brilliant. <laughs> 